Did you by chance? Yeah. Who did? Well, that's good. You see why we call that a draw bridge, but it's not. It doesn't draw up. It turns on a turntable. That's the old swing bridge. Um, and then across the river, there is another bridge. You can actually see it from the windshield here. And uh, those two bridges take us out to the rest of the sea islands. That's what we call the islands off of the low country here, as opposed to the upstate up toward Greenville. We're the low country, sometimes the slow country. Especially when that little bridge opens, um, but you don't have to cross one of those bridges to be on an island. You're on Port Royal Island, and when y'all were coming over, you crossed the big broad river, and that put you on Port Royal Island, and that connects around to the Beaufort River here, and then inland is the little whale branch that you'll go across. You barely know you're leaving the island, but so Port Royal Island is a very large island. I'm one of the largest of these 70 or so sea islands. And of course, Beaufort is the queen or the gem of these sea islands. This Beaufort River is part of the ICW, the Intracoastal Waterway System. Uh, technically, you can navigate the East Coast without getting into the ocean on this ICW. Um, the most popular section is from Virginia to Florida. And of course, we're the most scenic spot. So we do get little cruise ships that come through here. Um, <laughs> oh, did they really? Well, you know what? I like jackals. So I'm from Georgia, about two hours inland, a little, a small little town called Washington, Georgia, and I've been here about 15 years. So I tell people what you hear right now is a Georgia line drawl. It's sort of a combination. I'm a Carolina girl with a little peach fuzz. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, um. What I'm, we're just going to kind of do a circle, and I will have a few things to point out to you, um, but mostly I just want to tell you a lot of the rich history and everything around the area. Um, let's see, Beaufort, yeah, nobody knew, thought they were in Beaufort, did they? No. Okay, that, because that other Carolina has a Beaufort, and, and it's spelled the same way. And we're named after the same man. Under King Charles II, royal, loyal supporters were mapping out the new world. They were given land grants for their uh, services, and a lot of things are named after these men. And eventually, uh, one of these loyal, royal supporters that got on board uh, was Henry Somerset, the third Duke of Beaufort. So, maybe that other Carolina has it right. Uh, what we did was look around and decide it's not beautiful, it's beautiful. So we're going to call ours Beaufort. The English professors just say the term was anglicized. So that's that. But don't tell everybody your favorite tour guide was in Beaufort, because I'm not going to be in that other Carolina. <laughs> okay. um, I think it is too now. I can't help myself. i got to keep on talking. I was trying to wait on everybody. we got a couple of people coming, but they'll hear plenty and we'll catch up. Um, some. I want to tell you that um, some of the other islands off of here, we have, when you cross over that swing bridge, you're on Ladies Island. And that's just kind of technically part of Beaufort, Beaufort High School's over there. The next island is St. Helena. Lots and lots of farmland. We truck tons of tomatoes, watermelons, right now strawberries, and lettuce out of here. And so lots of farmland out there. There's a lot of gated communities residential areas with golf courses and marinas like Dawtaw, named after an old Indian tribe. Indians were here since 4000 BC, we know, because of their oyster shell mounds and uh, uh, middens. And so uh, Dawtaw, um, Cane, Cat, the end of the world, the last island that you get to, Fripp, F-R-I-P-P. -P. And an island up from Fripp is Hunting Island State Park. Hunting Island has the only historic lighthouse open to the uh, state, open to the public in the whole state. There's a fake one on Hilton Head. They built that for the tourists. They don't like it when I tell them. And there's another one that's historic that you can't get in um, up the coast a little bit. But this is the only one you can climb. And you better eat your Wheaties if you ever decide to do that too, I'm telling you. Um, so that's kind of the main islands. We also, across the river, under the bridge that was across the river, there's a hazy tree line, and that is Harris Island, South Carolina. Okay. All right, we're just talking about the oh, island. I'll just take the tour and come back. Oh, yeah. did you? Okay. Um, I won't. I, I like that. I'm going to turn around a little bit. But all you're going to do is just go get out here and take that first left on the shore. Oh, you might go all the way. Up. 